Quite a few people have asked me in the past if I could do videos explaining the general terms of nuclear physics, such as decay methods, uh, radiation, photon radiation, particle radiation, stuff like that. So uh, here it is. In the end of 2012, I was actually holding a lecture at the University of Technology in Berlin, Germany. And now you can see the professionally edited summary of this lecture. So uh, that's a vital thing, and uh, um, biological effects, which will result from that in the end. Alpha, beta radiation, uh, charged particles, neutron radiation, are uncharged particles with the resting energy of the electron, um, 511 keV, respectively. And uh, they are emitted at an angle of 180 degrees relative to each other, or if there's remaining kinetic energy, this angle may slightly vary. It includes real-life examples, such as why holding a fragment of Chernobyl's nuclear fuel in your bare hand is not as crazy as you might think. The inverse square law applies, which says that the uh, dose rate is inversely proportional to the square of the distance, or in quite simple terms, uh, if you double the distance, you reduce the dose to just a quarter. And that applies to any point source of photon radiation. And most people are totally freaking out about me holding this fuel fragment, but are not so much freaking out about being in the red forest, even though that produces a higher dose, as you can see. And that is because, as we said, the inverse scroller only applies to point sources of radiation. We can look at that again in this little demonstration. You can see all presented to you in a typical Bionet style. Let's, let's see what that is. I'm going there with my Geiger counter. And there's that man with the... <laughs> and you can see 50 microsievert per hour. That's as much as in the exclusion zone of Chernobyl, where nobody is supposed to go. 55 microsievert power, and that guy is sitting there in his underpants and irradiating his balls. So, um, I'm taking a sample of this stuff. <laughs> well, if you're interested, the full video takes about one hour, and you can see it at the link that is visible in the description of this video. But please feel free to leave comments about the entire video, or ask questions about it here on this short YouTube video preview. Thank you, and enjoy!